and that during such time as I am in this position. After a seven-year effort, city council members would also be elected by districts. The final piece of the trilogy, the Douglas County Board, would not follow until 1992, a considerable triumph for one person. Senator Chambers, through long and hard, diligent work and persuasive argument, was able to eventually get district elections for most of the political entities in Douglas County. He, he could really run that flag up the pole. I think the purpose of government is really to, to give voice to those who make up the community. Fred Conley benefited directly from district election legislation. He became the first black in Omaha's history to sit on the city council. People here, I think if you were to poll them, would honestly say that district elections has been better in terms of representation of them than under the at-large system. Because at least now people have someone they can call. They have a representative. Whereas under the at-large system, they really didn't know who to call. And so now they've got a direct voice, a direct line to the person that they say represent their particular area of town. I think that's really the purpose of, of government, is to give representation to those who feel unrepresented at times. Free South Africa! Free South Africa! Free In the coming South years, Africa! Chambers would shift his attention well beyond the boundaries of his district by co-sponsoring bills that addressed national and international human rights issues. In 1980, along with Steve Fowler of Lincoln, he persuaded the Nebraska legislature to pass a resolution condemning the South African system of apartheid. This resolution urged state officials to halt investments in corporations and banks doing business in South Africa. It became the first legislative action of its kind in this country. In 1989, at the request of the Pawnee, Chambers sponsored a measure that would force museums to give back the skeletal remains of Native Americans for reburial. It was the first such law passed by a state legislature and went on to become the model for the federal regulations that followed. His interest in human rights issues now moved far beyond the confines of the 11th District. His impact was now truly international. 